today we're working on Peg. Peg has an issue. If you don't know who Peg is, Peg is my daughter's 2014 Fiesta ST that we bought wrecked from Copart and repaired several years ago. Peg was missing the right rear wheel and we kind of called her Peg Leg and then shortened it to Peg. Anyway, Peg. The uh, clutch pedal is sticking to the floor. It's not doing it now, obviously, but um, there, it's kind of sticking. You can't really see it probably, but it's sticking. So we need to put a sleigh cylinder in this thing. It's not a fun job. You got to pull the transmission, but uh, Peg has 110,000 miles on it and we need to do it. So let's go. So if you're wondering how I know how to do this, well, I've not actually taken the transmission out of a Fiesta ST before. However, I do have a copy of uh, the service manual for the Fiesta on my computer. I found it randomly online. Don't know how that happened. Um, and it basically has step-by-step -step everything I need to do. So I'm gonna work on getting the stuff off the top side, which involves basically taking the battery loose and then taking the battery tray and some other stuff out. Um, and I'm going to show you, I'm not going to do a step-by-step. -step. I'm just going to let you see kind of me working and feel free to ask me in the comment section. If you have any questions, I'll try and answer them as best I can. Um, especially since once I've done this job, uh, I'll know a little bit better what I'm getting into. One quick tip before I get started. Some people have asked me in the comments how I know where everything goes when I take cars apart. Ziploc. So as I go through and take different parts of the car apart, I'm going to take these bags and label them and stick the bolts and the nuts in there and that will help me kind of identify what goes where. I'm also taking pictures and I have the camera here videoing what I'm doing. So between all of those things and then the manual, I should be good to go as far as putting this all back together once I take it apart. Another helpful tip, if you're taking stuff out and it screws in somewhere, just screw it back in. That way there's no question about where it goes when you go to lay the part back in. All right, so next up I've got to remove the two um, shifter cables. The manual says you just pull this little collar and it releases. Um, these are, I don't want to force them, but they aren't coming off very easily. So I put some WD-40 on them and I'm gonna see how that works. Uh, it was the same way on the, Fiat, the Focus ST that we did. There we go. So, that does work. You pull that collar and then it should release. Okay. And then this is supposed to just twist to the side. So let me see if I can do that. All right, so that popped off. Now we pull this and hopefully I can wrangle this out of here. Yep, there we go. Let's go ahead and pop this cable off. Should be the same. Just grab it and twist it. Or maybe grab it and pop it. There we go.
Okay, there's one more and you can't even see it. It's back here, so I'm gonna have to put a wrench on it. You can't even see it, it's uh, right there. So I'll just get that one out. All right, brackets out. This was that back one I was talking about. It's kind of buried, but you can just use a 10 millimeter wrench to get that. That's where the shifter cables sit. So this bracket has to come off so that we can get access to a couple of the transmission bolts. So what I'm gonna do here is actually stick these in and then just stick a piece of tape over them so they can't fall out, we'll be good. Okay, I'm pretty much done on the top side. Uh, there is one more thing I've got to do underneath, which is disconnect one of the connectors. Um, I'll show you that. Um, next, I got to raise this thing up so I can get the starter out. We've already taken those bolts out. I labeled those and we should be good to go. All right, so this connector is gonna kind of be in the way when we go to take the transmission out and we don't want to break it. so. That needs to come off. Uh, it was kind of hard to get from the top side. It's actually kind of hard to get from the bottom side too. So there we go. Um, whew. I don't know what that's got all over it. Um, so we'll, we'll tuck that out of the way. Uh, and then we'll need to take this off, obviously. And there's some bolts around here that need to come off. The axles need to come out. Uh, there's a whole laundry list of things that we need to still do. Uh, but next, uh, the starter will have to come out and it's right up here. So I'm gonna have to slide that back and then um, it's just supposed to kind of sit in there, I guess. We want it out of the way so it doesn't hit contact the flywheel when we're taking it out. All right, next up, we've gotta get this charge pipe out of the way because we've gotta take off the axle.
Well, that was certainly interesting. Uh, we finally got the lower uh, control arm loose off of here. That pinch bolt came out okay. But then the stud was just, it was stuck like Chuck. So this was stuck up in there and we tried to use a chisel, spread that open. We ended up kind of beating on the arm and continue putting some lubricant on there and we finally got it. So that had to come out so that we can swing this out of the way because we're going to need to pull the axle um, out of the transmission case. Um, so we're going to move on and do a couple other things and then we'll get back to the axles. I should probably mention that you want to drain the transmission fluid before you pull the axles. My bad. Okay, so we're taking off the um, cowl here and Ford in their infinite wisdom decided that you needed to take the headlight out to get that bolt out. So I'm doing that. It's not really that hard. It's a couple of T30s, but um, come on Ford. loosened something last time. Why is it? Right, there's the longer one. Okay. Okay, I'll mark it. Right. That bar. What? Is that bar at the top holding up the transmission? Too? Right now, it's just oh. holding the whole assembly. Oh, okay. Um, give me, give me that pen, and I'll just mark this hole with a blue um, mark. That way, we, and then we'll put a blue mark on the head. This one. Which one was it? Had a shoulder on it. Yeah, that's it. Let's see if it moves now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. there we go. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Uh, you're going to have to slide it towards you, Nason. Okay? I don't have it. Huh? Okay. Gently. We don't want to drop it. <laughs> Oh, gently, gently. Okay. Watch, it's going to get real heavy on the end. Okay, we got to get it over just enough to where um, 
right there. Still ain't passed. Okay, it's, okay don't don't wiggle. Let me. Yeah, you all so hold and, and don't let it, it fall. Okay. Are you gonna hit the frame rail? Or are you okay? Uh, um, we'll hit the subframe. Yeah, we're about to hit the subframe. Okay, let me let it down just a hair. You're gonna hit the subframe? Yeah, hitting subframe. Right here. Okay. Uh, it, it's all angled wrong. You're 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 kinda going toward back towards yeah. the road. I feel it. Okay. Alright, bro. Come up there go up there and work the jack. You gotta lift hold on, Nick. Do I just um hold on, hold on. Okay. You twist the twist the end of the handle a little bit. Okay. Whoa, that's enough. That's enough. Sorry. Okay, whoa, enough. whoa. Close uh, it all the way. You got I it closed? Close it all the way, yeah. Okay. You got it nice and Yeah, I got it. Hold on. Sorry, it's real touchy. Oh, you're fine. Uh, are we clear? Um, We're on the subframe. Over here you look clear. Okay, bro. Let it all the way down? No, hold on. Oh. Okay, now let it down. Let it down. Keep going. Okay, you're down. Yep. All right. Everybody good? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, Bree, uh, yeah. hey, if y'all want to take the lift off, yeah. Bree, the jack go off. ahead and go ahead and raise the car up just a little bit. No, keep going. Okay, go ahead and set it on the, the jack. I uh, set it down. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Here, pull the jack off, Bill. I'll hold it. Well, we can't really pull the jack off. Oh. Just, I can't. Just... It's fine. It can just sit like this. All right. Well, that went pretty okay. We got the transmission out. Um, did not remove the cross member. I'm happy about that. I'm not happy that I broke those exhaust studs because we didn't need to take those off anyway. Um, so we're going to leave it like this for the night. There's our slave cylinder. Here's our new one. Um, so we're going to pull work on it tomorrow or this weekend um, and get it back. I'll figure out the exhaust stud situation and um, otherwise it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, cold blooded, icy. Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing. In the front row, run it up when they hype me. The following grows, they know how to ignite me. Call me CEO, I've been running shit right, see. And I ain't playing games, I create my own lane, making pleasure out of pain, uh. Turning losses into gains, I'm the boss, I'm making change, I've been rocking this exchange, uh. Popping off and risking things, gonna make a fucking name, I just wanna be famous. But I don't want that cheap fame, no I'm not that vain I just wanna be greatness Okay, we're ready to put the slave cylinder in the transmission You saw us clean that up yesterday Got a brand new Ford OEM slave cylinder And that's gonna go right here That's the throw out bearing. That thing shot. Uh, the hydraulics are probably failing on these. So we're going to just swap that out. It's really easy. It's two bolts. And um, then we'll be ready to put the transmission back in the car. That's all there is to that. 
Really simple setup. This throw out bearing doesn't make any noise. This one, so at the very least, the throw out bearing was bad. Um, this is supposed to squeeze in and out um, and disengage the clutch. Yeah, it's, it's not working so well. Um, I'm assuming the hydraulics inside of here failed. So all that work just to get to this little part, now we can throw the transmission back in. Okay, so next up we're gonna go ahead and vacuum all the fluid out of the reservoir. This is a shared master cylinder for or the reservoir for the clutch as well as the brake. So we're just gonna suck all the old fluid out and add some new, that way we're not putting old fluid through a new slave. Okay, trans is in. Well, it's at least holding itself in there. We've got some bolts started. We still need to go up top and add the rest of the bolts. And then we're gonna bleed the hydraulics and make sure all that works before we button up everything else. That way, if something is still wrong, we haven't put the entire thing back together. Okay, quick update. Um, we got the motor mount put in. We went to I don't know if you can see this. I don't want to lose it. We went to bleed or attach the slave cylinder. And on mine, for whatever reason, this is the end of the line that goes into the slave cylinder. Um, this was still attached to the old slave and it leaked profusely. So we're going to put this back on and that should fix it. Okay, we just did all the charge pipes, the axles, the pinch bolts for the spindles. Next up, we're going to put in the bracket that holds the shifter cables and start putting the rest of the uh, air intake and stuff in. And we're pretty close. Twist it 
like that, okay. and then you pop it down. So now you can pop Where's it down. Where's that? Can you plug it in? So mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad, I'm like, I might grab a bat. I don't know my wrath, my blood boils over. Like, oh God, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head to my toes. You said some shit that I can't let go. So just stay tuned for the rest of the show. So have you ever felt? A little bit of residual in there, so we'll torch the lug nut. Cars back together. We finished up everything upstairs and under the hood. Um, we put the car back up because we're waiting on uh, the trans fluid. We were gonna go take it for a drive and thankfully my daughter reminded me that we drained the fluid out. So we're waiting on some uh, Ford brand uh, clutch fluid. Uh, it's the dual clutch transmission fluid. We gotta put a, a, like 1.7 quarts in here. And so we've got it up. And then as soon as Amazon shows up, which they're supposed to be here anytime, We'll be able to take this thing for a drive and verify that we have fixed the problem. The slave cylinder seems to be working properly now. The clutch pedal's not sticking to the floor, so fingers crossed. We'll find out shortly. Am I going the right way? I don't know. <laughs> Are you trying to loosen it or tighten right. it? Righty tighty, yeah. lefty loosey. So I had it the wrong way. Oh, I don't, I don't know. You want to turn it left? Don't make fun of me. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, well. It wasn't working. Oh, maybe. It isn't that tight. Oh. Like I put it in, I didn't put it in very tight. Cause I know you got me fucked up. Let me show you what's up. Cause enough is enough. I'll take a face full of payment just to make a statement. I know there's no turning back. Oh God, it dreadful. Okay, well peg drives again, clutch pedal's not sticking to the floor, so I think that's a success. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Hope the video was helpful for you. Be sure to share this video with your friends if they need help, and follow Stebbins Garage on Instagram. See you on the next one.